I am so excited to show you the Bernina L890 Overlocker today because it does so much more than just surging. It's surging and cover stitching all with an air threader. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal machine. And I'm gonna do something that nobody that doesn't have air thread would ever do. And I'm gonna cut all the threads and thread it up for you. It takes just a few minutes. So join me in this journey and let's thread the overlocker together. All right, so we're sitting at the L890 from Bernina, and this is, like I said, it's not a regular serger. This is a special serger. And so in my L890, I have two modes that I do not have on any other machine. I have a guided mode and an expert mode. And to be honest with you, I am by no means an expert, and I'm going to do something that is going to shock you. I'm going to actually trim the threads. So I'm gonna take all of these threads and we're gonna rethread the whole thing on camera like no cuts no i'm just kidding she may edit this but <laughs> no cuts and i'm going to just unthread the whole thing so let me go ahead and just so that i don't make it look easy it's initializing just so i don't make it look easy here's all of my thread that was originally threaded and i had a beautiful chain here so it was working okay so I am now completely unthreaded. So I wanted to take you from start to finish. We're gonna do a three thread rolled hem. And because I'm not an expert and I have this awesome screen, I'm gonna use my guided mode. This machine's gonna tell me everything that I need to do. And I love that because I, I'm confused. So I'm gonna click guided mode here. And now I'm gonna scroll through. You can see all of your different stitches. I'm gonna scroll through until I find that three thread rolled hem. Look at all these different stitches that I have too, by the way, it's pretty awesome. So three thread rolled hem. Now it's gonna tell me exactly what to do um, step by step. So the first step is lift the presser foot and scroll to the next step. Presser foot is lifted, we're good to go. I click next. Unthread the following thread paths. Okay, so this is a really cool feature. The L890 knows the last um, stitch that you took, so it will tell you which thread paths to unthread. Unfortunately, um, I just unthreaded the whole thing, so we're gonna go from start to finish. Um, all right, attach the pressure presser foot C11, that's attached. Adjust the presser foot pressure and change it to four. If I don't know where the presser foot pressure is on my machine, I click this little button here, and now it's showing me on my machine where the um, lever is for that. So it's this lever up here. I'm just gonna make sure it's on four, and it is, so we're good to go. And when I'm done with it, I can close out of that video, which is really cool. All right, I move on to the next one. Insert needles into the position shown. So I just need the right needle, which is great. So I am going to get my uh, little needle tool here. I'm gonna pull this stuff off and out of the way. Whoop, throwing things. Okay, I'm gonna put my needles in the utmost upright position here. Pull that needle out. And I'm gonna stick it in my box here because I only need my right needle in. If I was confused about how to do that, it would show me, here's my tool. Um, there's a great little needle threader holder, which I never use, um, and I probably should, but it will catch that needle so it doesn't fall into your machine for you. And then I love that I can just store the tool right here. So easy to, easy to use. All right, moving on. Activate the knife. I don't know where that is, so I'm gonna watch the video. Activate the knife. It's this little lever up here, and it wants me to slide it forward. It is already slid forward, so we're good to go. Adjust the cutting width. All right, where's my cutting width lever? It says to 5.5, I believe. All right, 5.5. Attach the knife cover insert. Okay, so the knife cover insert looks like this thing that we already have on here, which is really easy. So we were had it in cover stitch before. This is the knife cover insert. So this is perfect for the overlocker mode. So we're good to go on there. Activate my upper looper. How do I activate my upper looper? I turn this guy and what it's doing is when I was in my um, cover stitch mode, which is the mode that I was in prior to this, my upper looper deactivated. So I don't have to actually do anything except for plug my foot control in and press the um, foot control down. And now we're gonna pretend that um, this is my foot and we're gonna go ahead and press it down. And now it's going to make all of the necessary adjustments 
to activate that upper looper. So the upper looper is now activated and we're good to go. So I don't have to do any internal adjustments on the machine. All right, hook out upper looper converter. What? Okay, so we're gonna watch the video for that. <laughs> And I know what it is. I just wanted to be dramatic. Um, there's a little piece here on my upper looper that's out. We want to make sure it's out. And mine is currently switched to the out position. This would be the on position here. And then this is the out position. So we're in the right place. All right. But if you had no idea what that meant, it's great to have a visual in a video, which is why we love the screen on this machine. OK, set the rolled hem selection lever to position zero. All right, so this is my rolled hem position um, lever here. If I wanted to see where um, I needed to change it to, set the rolled hem selection lever to position R. Here we are. Now I just need to push this guy forward and the video shows me exactly what to do. So really simple. I like when it shows me progress. We're getting close to the end. All right, thread the following thread pass or change the thread as required. Okay, so we need to thread the right needle the upper looper and the lower looper. Really simple. So the thread paths are colored on here. So when you're looking at the machine, the really cool thing about this machine is there's yellow, green, blue, red, and purple. And then everything corresponds to that. Um, my favorite thing about this machine too is you'll notice that I don't have any tension knobs because this machine has internal set tension. So when you go to actually select this um, stitch selection, it will automatically adjust the tension discs depending on the tension that it needs. So you don't see the levers that you would see on a regular serger, which is where everybody gets so confused. Everybody has a manual and they keep notes about working with knits or working with rolled hem or working with overlocker or all these different stitches and they have to adjust these levers to make it work with the stitch. This machine does that for you. So there's no lever or tension adjustments on this machine. You can do obviously um, tension adjustments if needed, but it does most of the heavy lifting for you. So we're gonna thread three pa thread paths. It's really simple. My green thread path is first for my right needle. So I'm gonna go ahead up here and grab my green thread path straight down through and now all I have to do is click on my video if I don't know what's next and I have a pause button here which I think is really cool but I'm just going to follow all of my green markers on here so I'm coming down here through here straight down and now I'm gonna bring this right through here and we're just gonna cut and I'm old school, so I'm just gonna stick this through the eye of my needle, my knife, under, and back. Okay, so, right needle's threaded, and I sweat minimally. Okay, upper looper. So, that's my blue path here. There's a blue um, position at the top. This is way easier than threading the needle, believe it or not. I just cut, bring it down here. I'm going to turn my video on so that you can see that it will show you what to do, but I'm going to activate my threading ports here, which is really, really nice. I'm going to stick my thread into this blue port here, and this is where you'll want to get nice and close to see, but my thread is going to shoot out of here with the push of a button. So here's my thread. I didn't have to do any work. See, threading the needle was the hardest part. I bring this around my knife and back all right let's make sure we didn't get tangled here we're going to thread our lower looper here now so i'm going to bring this down and through push it into my red, loop, red lower looper port okay there we go it took it and sometimes if you don't see it come out it just give it a little more um give and then oh so close it's got a long way to go there's my thread <laughs> like spits it out okay and then i'm done I'm going to turn my ports off. I'm going to bring this around, thing up. All right, and now I'm going to see if I get a nice chain. Sounds good to me, and I can see this chain here, so I know things are working. All right, so let's check to see. I told Alyssa this would take me about 10 minutes. We're at 11 minutes and 57 seconds. So let's see if I can do a rolled hem. These would be very cute napkins. So I'm going to take two pieces of fabric together. This is my mom's favorite gift to make for people. 
It's simple. It's easy. And anybody can do it, I promise. All right, so here we go. Beautiful! Okay, check this out. Keep that in there. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So here's my rolled hem. It was super simple, all because the machine tells you what to do from start to finish. So even if you're filming a YouTube video and learning the serger at the same time, you too can accomplish a rolled hem. Um, no, it really is that easy, you guys. And, and I love this machine because it's, it's guided, it helps you, there's minimal work and effort needed to learn how to use it. So you can start using it as soon as you take it out of the box, unlike any other surgery I've ever laid eyes on my entire life. And I've been around a lot of surgers. So um, this is a really cool machine. If you wanna know more about it, feel free to send us a message. We'll be happy to help.